Hello YouTube people. This is where I work. I work nowadays. But my shift is over, so we're heading home. So I'll see you back home. You're at my house. Um, we're just gonna change some stuff, change clothes, get rid of these guys, and then we're gonna head out, head on out again, because it's pretty fantastic weather outside, and uh, we need to go out and do something. So we're gonna go out and do something. So I'll see you in a bit. That's better. I will see you out there, because we're going for a walk. Where does it go? Go! This is my first Swedish poison. It's like um what do you call it? This is poisonous. It's my first one. Ah. So welcome to my trail. It's not the PCT or anything else, but it's uh, it's pretty okay. I got to see my first, I don't know if you call it rattlesnake, but a viper, it's a viper. I got to see the first Swedish viper I've ever seen. It was beautiful. So, you know, it's almost PCT and it's warm outside. It's like 18, degrees Celsius, which is 62 or something Fahrenheit. So for us Swedes, it's like summer. And you can also see it because everyone is outside. There's a lot of people here. So, you know, it doesn't help me when I want to make a video because I can't do that in public. But 
this trail, like exercise trail, whatever, is really close to where I live. So it's really nice to walk um, back home from work, just change your clothes and then get out here and walk around the lake. And I've just been doing a lot of uphill, which is why I don't have my lungs are tired. And they should be, because we're out here to exercise. And I'm so happy that it's warm outside and I can go out and exercise. Because, oh, <laughs> you notice right away that when, when you get back home from a longer walk, you feel much better. And even the day after, you feel a lot more happier and satisfied and everything just, everything gets a lot easier. And you know, hopefully I will get better at this. Uh, and also, to be honest, coming back from the trail, because when you're out on the trail, you don't even think about how much weight you're losing or not and like you just walk but when you get back home you have this uh, plan that when when I get back home I'm gonna continue the exercise and eat healthy and you don't because first of all you're so tired and your body is hurting and tired so you just uh, you end up sitting in the couch all day and now when the corona thing is going on, you are stuck in a house. Well, our, our Swedes are, really, but point is, you get back from the trail, it's really windy here. You get back from the trail and you think that I'm going to keep on being this athletic and you don't, so you just, uh, you get, you add on the more weight and it doesn't matter if it's your your the, the weight you started with because it feels a lot more so it feels really good to be able to be out, outside again and doing some exercise also I got a job I and I'm so stupid because I just realized today that oh shit I'm working in a bank because it's not called a bank it's called Landsforsäkringer, which is Lands Insurance. So I just thought it's an insurance company. And then today I realized, no. Well, it's that too, but it's also a bank. Like one of the biggest banks in Sweden. So, you know. I'm working in a bank. So right now I'm just studying. I'm gonna do, it's a certificate of some sort. So I'm gonna do that for like a month before I can do the test. Because that's how long it's going to take to learn all these things and I don't even know what I'm learning. Like it's a completely different language to me. But it's a challenge. So that's what I'm doing right now. We're going to continue our hike and then we will talk some more about future plans and all that. So that way. people everywhere. So what else? Yesterday my niece turned six months. So we, uh, me, my dad, my mom, my sister and Emba, we went to a restaurant. It's down by the river. Well, it's a river, but river-ish. We have a restaurant and it is so nice and it was so warm and it felt like, like I was on holiday somewhere tropical. And uh, she's so cute and she's so big and kind of wish she could just stop growing. But at the same time, it's so fun because every day she learns something new. So she's just adorable. Did it right? Da -da -da. 
<laughs> so, what are my plans for this summer? Well, since I finally have a job, I can actually ask someone if I can get days off, weeks off. Ooh. Oh, there's someone coming. Um, so I asked my boss if I could possibly take holiday this summer, and she said, oh, I'll just get back to you. So yeah, I asked my boss, and she said, of course, you can probably take holiday this summer. Um, it all kind of depends on Corona and all that. Corona just keeps messing up everything. But my hope and my goal is to somewhere, ooh, probably, it's going to be the late summer, like July, August. I'm going to go to the north. It's actually above the Ar Arctic Circle. And hopefully I can hike the entire Kungsleden, the King's Trail. But if I don't get enough holiday, I might have to just do like half of it or something. Because it's... It's like 420 or 30 kilometers. And hopefully I can do it in two weeks. But we'll see. And also, on the way you have Sweden's highest mountains. Kimi Kaisei. So, I want to do that too. But it all depends if I can get enough days off or not. But there's people everywhere. Don't they know that I have social anxiety? All right, we're halfway around the lake, and I guess if this would be the PCT, this would probably be in Oregon for Washington. So, no, actually, let's go with Oregon. If you could smell what I smell right now, you would smell barbecue. People are actually swimming over there. Like it's not that hot. Made it around lake, time to head back home. Okay, let's try this again. So yeah, this summer I'm definitely gonna do part of the King's Trail or the whole trail. We'll see how it goes with the vacation. Mm -hmm. I also have a lot of other plans, but Corona, you're in my way. Because the job that I have now is only, it's only a temporary job. So it's for six months. And after that, I could probably um, continue work at that place. But I could also not work, and then that means I didn't resign anything, my contract just ended. So if I want to go back and apply for other jobs and do employment money, I can do that. Whew. Because I thought it was another snake. You know, if Corona... Um, settle down and calms down a bit and my job ends in October I, mean, I, could, I could always go and do another through hike somewhere it has been discussed by me 
and the boys. But we, um, we're just gonna have to wait and see how the world feels by then. Uh, also have other plans that is something you can do beginning of this, no, the end of this year, beginning of next year. And that's only for like three weeks or something. It's, uh, it's not in Europe, it's somewhere else. And it is a high mountain. So, and it's been on my bucket list. But again, it all depends. Damn you, Corona. So, do I have plans? I got plans. I got plans. I just don't have any idea how it's gonna be by then. So that's, uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see, which is something I hate. That is not how I work. If I wanna do something, I do it. I book it, I plan it, I do it. I don't do it like this. Jesus, I keep seeing snakes everywhere. This is just like on the PCT. Whenever you saw a rattlesnake, you just, you thought you saw them and heard them everywhere, which is, I'm not, I'm not even afraid of snakes. So it's just stupid. Um, I think I was about to say, talk about something else. But I don't remember what it was, so I guess we're just gonna carry on hiking. Do you even call this hiking if it's just like a walk? It feels like you're feels like it's not supposed to be called hiking. But I'm gonna call it hiking just for the fun of it. So let's continue our hike. Shortcut! I have a blister. I've had a blister for a couple weeks now. And then it starts to heal up. And then I go out and do some hiking. And I forget that I have the blister. The blister? The blistered. God. Um, so I just keep uh, reopening my blister. Which is what I'm doing right now. But my feet are just going to have to deal, because apparently I uh, keep forgetting that I have a blister. So, and you know, I still want to go out and enjoy this nature. So, so we took a little shortcut, but it's not really a big shortcut. Like, the road is just up here. You hear those birds? That is my absolute favorite sound in the whole world. This is our first spring flowers. And they are pretty. See these guys? They're preparing for the corona zombies. These guys are gonna be the one that's gonna survive all this. Last man standing. Well, we're almost back at where we started. And we're done. So, so far, we've done like eight and a half kilometers. This is a good hike. Now we just have to get back home. This 
See, that's where you do the ski jumping. We have that. Well, I made it back home just in time for my battery to die, so, um, but yeah, we did, I say, maybe like 11 kilometers today, going back home from work and then doing this little other afternoon hike, so, that should pro probably be some six plus miles, so, you know, good afternoon walk, I'd say. And I know that a lot of you, a lot of countries have, um, uh, what do you call it, quarantine because of Corona. So some of you might not be able to go out and have a walk like this, but if you do have that possibility, just do it because you feel so much better once you've done it. And, um, I know a lot of countries talk about Sweden and how we don't really do a lot because I guess we don't. I mean, we do have regulations that you're not allowed to be too many peoples at once on the same place and a lot of um, people are losing their jobs because there is not, like, it affects everything. but. Restaurants are still open, shops are still open. Uh, we are starting to see some big chains filing for bankruptcy. So that's pretty sad. And, um, but yeah, I don't, you don't really notice that much in Sweden. And so far, so good. I think it works. It's not chaos. People are still dying. But I don't think you can um, not have people dying. So I'm just hoping that people will be sensible enough to stay at home if they are feeling sick. But as it, I mean, it feels like every day they come up with something new. And apparently most of the people that have the virus is not even sick. So it's, um, yeah. But, um, for me, I have to work because I have a job now. And so when I have the time after my job, I try and get out as much as possible. So tomorrow is going to be another beautiful day. So I'm going to make some pasta salad so I can eat my lunch outside tomorrow. Because after tomorrow, it's going to be like a week of just clouds. So I'm going to make the most of it and hopefully this Corona thing will stop soon or at least calm down a lot and hopefully they will allow people to travel this winter because if they do, I might jump on a plane somewhere far, far away for six months and if not, I might jump on a plane and go far, far away for three weeks and then conquer another high peak. So I have plans. It all depends on the world. But for sure, this summer we're going to do some hiking up in the north of Sweden and we're going to see reindeers and hopefully not as much, not that much snow and beautiful mountains and valleys and gonna be epic and of course you're gonna be joining me so take care of wherever you are if you can't go outside to do some hiking you just did six miles plus hiking today with me so I hope I could help and I hope you have well actually I might just publish this today because it's usually I try and publish Usually, I try and publish videos on the weekend, but I didn't publish anyone last Friday because I was busy and my brain was just dead because of 
me having to study taxes and funds and shares and I've, I don't even know what I'm studying, but I'm trying. So I might just use a pasta salad and then try and get this up tonight. Let's go for that. So I will see you tonight. And still, have a great weekend and take care. Bye.